All right, one of our big stories today was uh, that we're following is the, the report, the SABC's report on ed editorial interference. What was that all about? We're going to break it down for you. Now we invited the chairperson of the board, Bongo Musa Makatini. Chair, thank you very much indeed for coming through. Some real stark revelations uh, with regards to some of the findings. Uh, Joe Tlolwe was saying he found an organization crippled by pain, anger and fear, among others. Firstly, your reaction to this report. We welcome the, the report as the SAPC. We wanted this to be done in an independent manner so mm. that it allows us an opportunity to know what went wrong so that we can take corrective measures. It is mm. important for the SAPC to protect its independence and to make sure that our journalists and our editorial team is able to do their work without fear yeah. or favor. You know, many organizations, NGOs, concerned citizens are calling for accountability. You said you determined to take action against those who are implicated when? The truth of the matter is we have to hold people accountable. Uh, it is important. Uh, so that will be done in line with our um, uh, disciplinary policies and code of conduct as the SAPC, and that will be done with immediate effect. Yeah. Look, you know, when you go through some of the recommendations uh, that Mr. Tlolwe put forward, and he, he spoke about this, this editorial policy and ethics committee that must be formed and it must be chaired by the GE of News. You see this as you know, mechanisms uh, in the right direction in order to bring back that light here at the SABC. The, the key thing is that all the recommendations around the structural uh, changes and reporting will be taken into consideration as we finalize the review of our editorial policy. Right. And the board would want to finalize that process, and that's where we'll take care and consider those kind of recommendations. But on issues of misconduct, mm. that will be implemented if, if yeah. with immediate effect. You would agree that editorial independence is at the heart of journalism. And, you know, what safeguards needs to be in place in order to separate the editorial team and management? The first thing is that journalists need to be given an environment where they can do their work without any fear. Right. It is important for us as a board also to, to, to lead by example and to ensure that we protect our executives and allow them to do the space to do their work. Mm. But also um, I expect South Africans to understand that independence and impartiality of the SAPC talks our credibility and the credibility of our news. Mm. And as the SAPC, we are committed to, to fulfill our mandate, uh, respecting our editorial policies and making sure that South Africans can trust the SAPC. Mm. We heard from the GE of News talking about her tenure here, talking about the past 16 months and what she found as well. How would you describe the SABC's journey from the time you started here uh, till this point? I mean, the situation was dire in all fronts in terms of uh, political and commercial interference, yeah. where we were in terms of how we do things and how we do our business. It was a, a dire situation, and that's why um, the recommendation, the remedial action coming out of the public protector, we had to make sure that we drive that process of implementing those recommendations. But also the overall turnaround of the business, it was important for us to pay attention to our cost, increase and improve our revenues. Mm. But you can see already that there the, the, the is a lot that we've been able to achieve. If you look at the MMA report around the coverage of the election, mm. out of 3,137, I think, um, issues that were, 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 were analyzed, 99% mm. of them were found to be fair which means SAPC is on the right track. Yeah. But, uh, Chair, um, you know, it's, I guess, the right of, of politicians and those in, in the social space to try and influence broadcasters like the SABC. But it's us who decipher what news to cover and how to cover it. But when you see this power to, to politicians and other role players, you know, it takes away credibility, it takes away integrity. What would a tenuous, weak newsroom mean to South Africa at this phase of democracy? It will cripple our democracy, that's mm. one. But also it will make it impossible for us to meet and fulfill our, our, our mandate, which is about informing, yeah. educating, and entertaining. Now, if people can't trust what comes of a public broadcaster, can you imagine what it will that mean? I mean, as the SAPC, we play a critical role in empowering citizens and in making sure that we help and contribute in maturing our democracy. Yeah. And it is important for our people to understand the role that we have to play as the SAPC. Mm -hmm. In terms, I know there's going to be this process with regards to the disciplinary action, but is there any time frame set? A lot of the processes around what went wrong are already in motion. Um, I always refer to the, f the, the public protector remedial action. We've already implemented quite a, a big chunk of that. 
I referred to the Parliamentary Ad Hoc Committee report with, which came with 24 recommendations. We have re implemented quite a lot of that. Our own um, uh, forensic investigation, which produced 180 a forensic report, we've done a lot in terms of holding people to account. Mm. But also, the Auditor General comes up with a number of recommendations. We are paying attention to that. You can already see that there is an improvement in us cleaning up and making sure that what was found to be uh, wrong and not being done properly, yeah. we are correcting those. So we are at basically uh, busy implementing a lot of these corrective measures. I know I'm asked to wrap up. We've just got very limited time, but I just want some clarity on one particular issue with regards to uh, this review request of uh, the freelance contracts. W what's your understanding with regards to that? I mean, my main com comment was that the freelancers will always be part of our uh, mix uh, as the SABC, and the executive will do justice in making sure that we do what is right and what will make this organization more sustainable and effective and efficient in the manner in which we work. Yeah, all right. Thank you very much indeed, uh, Board Chair, for coming through and uh, breaking it down for us. Bongo Musa Makatini, SABC Board Chair. I think that's a wrap of the...